Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop drinking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. You took off without a word. I could have been happy. Good to make her happy. Todd, please, I know you're angry, but you stay out of this, or you'll be next. <laughs> Alice! Daddy's very mad!
I'm good. That's enough. Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean, you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. To obey me! You're mine. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. 
and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? Where's it got that item? Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna oh. destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Carl, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android.
Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You we'll always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead, suspect's all yours. Damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they going to do to me? going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomponents. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't.
you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead! Do you hear me? Dead! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. OK. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's going to tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Oh. 
Holy shit! 